In this video, we will show you how to use function handles in MATLAB for engineering applications. A function handle is a data type that describes a function. This could be a named function or an anonymous function. This is an important concept to know in MATLAB if you're trying to use a function that only accepts another function as an input. First, a named function handle represents a function that is stored in existing program files, including built-in MATLAB functions and custom functions you write yourself. The other type of function handle is an anonymous function. This represents a function that is stored in the same file that you're calling the function. This is generally much less sophisticated, can execute only a single statement, and only return a single output. First, let's write a basic function custom sum. The sum function needs to take an input array x with any number of elements and output the sum of the elements. First, open up a new function. This function will only have a single input x and a single output sum of x. Next, let's identify the number of elements in the array by using size. The two outputs of the size function are number of rows and number of columns. Let's then initialize the variable sum var that will store the sum of the elements. Then use a for loop to add every element in the array one at a time and store it in sum var. Lastly, let's set our output variable as sum var. Remember to save the function into the same folder as our function handle script. Let's go back to our main script and see if our function works. The resulting sum of x is 10. Let's take this function one step further and use it to write our own averaging function. This time we will write this as an anonymous function. The average function needs to take an input array x and additionally the number of elements in the input array and output the average of the elements. First, let's use the size function again to determine the number of elements. Next, let's create an anonymous function handle custom mean and initialize it with the at symbol, followed by the variables that represent the inputs. This is followed by the statement sum of x divided by n, which outputs the average. Let's use our function to calculate the average of x. The mean is 2.5. Notice the mean becomes a function handle in the local workspace, and it is not stored as a separate file, like our custom function sum. Lastly, let's show an example of how to use an anonymous function handle as an input to the MATLAB built-in integral function. We're going to create our function handle inside the same script we're calling the integral function. Let's say that you're given the following equation, and we want to find the integral of this from 0 to infinity. This equation would be tedious to solve by hand, so I think you will appreciate how much easier it is to solve in MATLAB. First, we name our function handle. The at symbol initializes the function followed by the input variables of the function. x is our independent variable, so we will integrate over x, which is why our input for our anonymous function needs to be x, which is then followed by the statement. After calling the integral function, the first argument is the function handle we just created, and the output is our function integrated from 0 to infinity. Our answer is 1.9475. Now let's solve the same problem using a named function. Our input will be x and our output will be y. Let's name our function fun2. The output y will be equal to the same equation previously defined. We can save the function in our local file. We can now create our function handle. Let's call it fun with capital letters and set it equal to our function fun2. Our function is represented with an at symbol followed with the name of our function. Now we're ready to use the integral function. The first argument is now the named function handle, fun with capital letters. We should get the same answer as before. In conclusion, we discuss how to write two types of functions, named functions and anonymous functions. We also discuss how to use the functions as an input to other functions. If you want to learn more about function handles or any of the functions we used in this video, please see the links in the description.